Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another Rise SMP episode. Guys, today I'm going to show you a little bit of updates that I've made near my place. So, um, here's my house as you guys might know and um, I made a strip mine down here. And I started strip mining and I didn't really want to do this all on camera because strip mining is pretty boring. I mean, you're just mining the same blocks over and over again hoping to get diamonds and uh, this strip mine has so far produced 17 diamonds for me and uh, I've been uh, basically just mining down these shafts like so mining all the way down and etc so uh, there was a lava pool here before and I started to collect the obsidian and um, rise or the community of rise has finally uh, decided that they sh they're gonna link we're gonna start to link our nether portals so the project today is I'm going to go so, um, I was talking to Dill. Ooh, is this a zombie? This is a zombie. Come on, come over here, zombie. I'm gonna have to see if I can trap this. It's gonna be very lucky. Come on, zombie. So, hold on. Before we get to what we're gonna do for today's episode, I'm gonna see if I can lure this zombie into my house or into a little holding cage that I'll have for him. Alright, I need to push him, right? Don't I? Oh, God, no, he's gonna punch me. Come on, zombie. I need to give him a walkway. Come on, zombie. There we go. There we go. Yes. All right, so I need to walk this way. I'm going to trap this really quickly. I, as I said before, I wanted to make like a... Uh, how am I going to do this? Make a trap like this. And then I'll have him walk into there somehow. Somehow. All right, let's figure it out. Let me break this. All right, come on, zombie. And come on. Get on that block. I just need this. I just need the zombie, guys. This, this is for future plans. I just happen to find one now. So, here we go. Come here, zombie. Oh gosh, no, he's not. He's not gonna push, 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 push. No. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. That's bad. He's about to kill me. I need. I need him to come this way. Yes. All right. Trap the zombie. Very nice. I'm gonna close him off here. There we go. All right, let's get back to the episode that we were planning. So I I have a strip mine now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link this Nether portal right here. So Dylan told me that if I have this Nether portal not linked here, like not activated, and then I wrote down the coordinates right here. So the coordinates are that, and then what I have to do is I have to write down those coordinates, and then I have to divide it by eight, and then from the Nether portal in um. In spawn, I need to walk over to the the, the nether world, the nether portal or nether world cords. After I've divided those by eight, and then make another portal there, and then activate that portal, and hypothetically, it should link the two portals together. So, this is a this is a way this is a travel system that uh, a most of a majority of the other SMPs. This is how they travel uh, via nether portals, like across these vast distances, because. If you guys weren't aware, oh my god, these chunks aren't loading. If you guys aren't aware, another one netherworld or one overworld block is eight netherworld blocks. So for every one block or for every one block that I travel in the overworld, I'm traveling eight blocks in the nether. So this we're we're working based off of those principles, and basically we're gonna we're gonna try to I'm gonna travel to spawn real quickly. I'm gonna pause here and cut to spawn, and then from spawn I'm gonna see if I can link the cord coordinates that I copied from over there and then divide it. I need to divide it by eight. And then after dividing it by eight, I have to find that spot in the nether and then build another portal there. So the the schematics of it is really kind of confusing. Like I, I'm really not fully sure of how this actually works as of right now. I'm kind of just doing what uh, the other Rise SMP members told me to do. So yeah, I'm gonna cut real quick while I run to spawn. And then once I get there, we'll re continue recording and then we'll see where we go from there. So we will be right back. Alright guys, we are back and we are slowly approaching spawn and as you guys can see here a lot of the members have been doing work in the recent couple of hours and they marked out how our, how big our main spawn area is going to be. So this is the main idea of how spawn will be and there's another portal that we will be entering to link the rest of our or the rest of our portal, our home portal. Wow, these friggin' skeletons are owning me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through this portal here. And then I have to go to a certain specific set of coordinates on the in the overworld or in the nether in order holy crap in order to correspond with all of the the nether portal that I just previously pre-made right next to my house. And hopefully if I get it right, if I do everything properly, the two portals will link 
and then that'll that'll make it so that whenever I'm traveling from spawn to my house I don't have to travel like too long of a distance so let's hope this works and let's jump right into it I haven't had a death yet and I have a feeling like this is gonna be like one of my first deaths one of my first deaths in the nether and I'm gonna cry all right so I have to go to negative 95 X and then 5 Z so negative 95 X is that way so let's go it looks like somebody made oh my gosh there's a ghast if this ghast hit me hits me once I'm probably gonna die I'm just gonna dodge him Oh god, he's there. Alright, so negative 95x and then 5z. So, looks like there's another fortress here. Let's see if I can just work my way around it without having to worry about it too much. So, let's go. Da -da -da -da. I'm gonna have to dig through the nether here. Hopefully, that. Oh god, that ghast. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, that's a lava pocket. Oh, that's a lava pocket. That's bad. Alright, come on, lava pocket. Go away, lava pocket. So I need to work my way carefully around this little area here. Hopefully nothing shoots me off into the lava. If I if I die in the lava as my first death, I'm just gonna just gonna be depressed for a little while. So negative 95x. I'm at negative 95, and then I gotta go to 5z. So 5z is all the way that way, which means I need to. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to precariously. You know what? I should go into that. I should go into that. Uh, into that nether. The, the little stronghold here so then maybe that'll make my traveling a little bit easier so let's see if I can find the entrance or find a entrance to this nether stronghold that we have over here and it looks like there's like a bridge opening here so I'm gonna mine up to that entrance and then travel from there hopefully it brings me a little bit closer without me having to having to mine across the entire uh, lava field so let's get to it here's another brick Let's get some of this nether brick and where's the opening? Where's the opening? There's the opening. Okay. So here's the opening. Oh god, that is a wither skeleton. That is two wither skeletons. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die right here. Guys, this is the end. This is the end. I'm getting withered to death. Alright, I need to heal up. I need to heal up before I try to take out that other wither because he's just gonna like one shot me. I only have iron armor, guys. I only have iron armor. I'm so weak right now. All right, let's see if I can get a peek at him at least. Where is he? There he is. There's the little bugger. Oh! Oh no! There's three! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm dead, boys. I'm dead. It was. It was nice knowing you. It was nice knowing you. Hold on. Got three hearts. Going to block it off. All right. Let's sit here for a while. I'm going to sit here for a while, guys, and heal. Uh, I'm going to cut the recording really quickly. Hopefully nothing spawns over here. I'm going to block myself off. I'm going to heal up to full hearts, and then have, I'm going to have to kill those two wither skeletons over there. So we'll be right back as I heal, because it's going to take some time, and yeah. All right, guys. We are back, and I, I trapped this off of camera. He's trying to get me here, but I made a little cutoff thing there so that he wouldn't be able to hit me. Now I have a blaze on me. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I hate having such weak armor. I can't. I don't even have a strong weapon to fend him off. All right, I'm just gonna try to book it. Here we go, book it. All right, I gotta go to. I'm at negative 95, and then I gotta go to a positive 5z. So I'm gonna run over this direction because this is the positive z direction. Oh my gosh, there's like blaze everywhere. Don't hit me, jukes, jukes. Oh god, he's hitting me. All right, that was good. I owned him that time. All right, there's like some random and and right here. All right, positive five Z is right here. Whoa, what is this? Is this not loaded or is this? I don't think that's loaded. Positive five Z and then negative 95 X. So negative 95 X is that way. So my portal is going to be in the middle of the friggin ocean. Oh, geez. All right, so let's go over here. Oh, it looks like, oh, it's because I, I tried to walk through it earlier. So here's the portal. It looks like one, two. Is there anything that'll knock me off? If something knocks me off right here, I'm just gonna cry. One, two, three. Nether. One, two, three. Nether. Oh wait, no, it's only two. One, two, and then I should do one, two, three. And then all I have to do, hold on, I'm gonna make myself a little bit more of a base here. Oh, this is a terrible spot to have a portal, but I can't really do anything about it because this is where I made my house. So if I light this, hypothetically, hypothetically, I should go back to my house portal. 
So if I go through this, come on, baby. Did it work? It worked! Yes! Although my house is right here somehow. Or the portal spawned outside my house. So if I light this, I should... I should go back to the portal that I just came from. Yes! Okay, it worked. So now all I have to do now is I'm going to basically just destroy the first portal that it, it teleported me to. So I'm going to destroy this one. And it should lead me back to that one right over there. So there's... There's uh, nether mechanics for you guys. I'm not. I'm, I don't really fully understand what was happening or what was actually going on with the nether portal. But uh, that basically, what you have to do is you take your overworld cords, so like the X Y Z up there, and then you divide all that by eight, because since one uh, one overworld block is eight nether world blocks, and then once you divide that by eight, you basically go to that corresponding uh, place in the nether and then make a portal there. Go through it, and then you should be. Or you should spawn in a portal basically pretty as close as possible to your actual base that you can so uh, here I made that portal hopefully this stays linked after I destroy this and then it looks like we are successful for the most part so I'm gonna have to replace this with sand or grass later because that just that's just the OCD part of me and uh, yeah so the last thing that we're gonna have to do is I'm not I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it on camera I might do some of it on camera because I don't really know how long this uh this episode is so far but i'm gonna have to make a railway system from the first portal to this portal so this that's gonna take some time um i'm actually kind of worried due to the fact that um i am in the middle of the fire here and then i'm pretty sure that uh the overworld or the overworld portal is that way like way over there so uh if let's see let's go back through here one last test and hopefully hopefully yes all right so we're perfectly linked now and all we got to do is figure out a way to make a railway system from this portal to that portal way over there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab i'm going to throw away my good stuff first or i'm going to store my good stuff i don't need i'm going to store that here i'm going to make a normal iron pickaxe because if i do die i don't want to be dying with my pickaxes because those pickaxes are very very good enchantments or at least i think they are so I'm gonna keep those there. That's what all I need. I'm gonna put the rest of my random tools. So I'm gonna pause right here, really quickly, guys. I'm gonna try to build some of this, uh, some of this this railway system off of camera because it is gonna be tedious. Um, if I cut back into recording, it's probably because I died. And uh, hopefully, I'm gonna time lapse this actually. Actually, so this is gonna be my time lapse of me building the Nether Portal Bridge, and I'll probably be doing some commentating over it. And uh, yeah, so we'll be right back as I start. Um, Negative nine, negative one fifteen zero. And uh, so we're gonna basically, yeah, gonna time lapse the section of me building the railway between this and spawn, and yeah, we will be right back. <laughs>
Alright guys, we are back, and uh, we've successfully sort of linked the walkways between <laughs> Hyper Darkness' bases over lava as well. So we've successfully linked the bases between here and over there. So what I'm going to need to do now is I am going to... This is kind of dangerous on my part because this, there is only one layer here. So I'm going to have to be careful on explosions. Anything that will explode will basically just ruin this entire uh, area that I have here. Hopefully, like, no gas spawn because if a gas spawns, uh, it'll be able to blow up my stuff. But I've made the first walkway. So what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to grab my good pickaxe and I'm going to collect some... It always lags when I go through the portal for some reason. <laughs> Dylan just died again, bringing his total to... He's got 8th deaths now. Poor Dylan. Oh, jeez. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my good pickaxe that I stored. And I'm going to save up some netherrack. And then I'm going to need to use up the iron ingots that I've been saving. And then with those iron ingots, I'm going to have to make some powered rails. And I'm going to have to make some rails in order to be able to finish like the actual train tracks. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to mine a couple of more... Um, gonna mine a couple more of the nether and then I'm gonna try to put like a base layer around this uh, this entire thing here so there isn't like no chance for me to fall off because I want I want like a safe walkway or a safe pathway that leads from there to there so um, is, uh, is there any way can you guys leave it in the comments below is there any way to stop a pigment from spawning in the nether like will light make them stop spawning in here like if I put a bunch of torches down let me know because I'm really not hundred percent sure about that so put leave those leave that oh my god is he coming towards me no he's not okay leave that in the comment section below is there a way to stop the pigmen from spawning anywhere on this nether rack so i'm we're gonna all expand this area here and this is our, gonna be like our main portal our main hub for where we are traveling and setting all of our portals and all of our railway systems to our uh to our concurrent bases so that's what we're basically doing so i am clearing out a bigger area here and then we'll put a, a layer of uh whatever decoration blocks or whatever they decide to do it but for now I'm gonna leave it as a nether rack then I'm gonna collect this nether rack as well because I need to I need to protect my uh, assets over there so I'm, I want to make this railway a little bit bigger make it a little bit safer for me to travel in and then from there we will basically we'll basically just go from there oh there's a ghast over there so that's really scary I hope um, we need to cover up this area very soon so Alrighty, so we're planning on making this nether hub look really really good in the future like with like a lot of stuff Like a lot of decorations make it look really really pretty But this is the basically just the rough sketch of it right now Like we're not we don't we, we all don't have we're not all decked out with like building blocks and stuff of that nature yet So we're gonna have to just deal with what we have and then from there we will continue to build Alright, so I'm gonna make this pathway a little bit wider because I do not want stuff to be uh Exploding all over me and destroying my pathways. Yeah, there's a there's a freaking no busy. Alright, there's a freaking ghast over there. I'm really really scared of that ghast. Um, and then what I'm also gonna have to make I'm gonna need to make some railway systems. I'm gonna have, need to make some railway systems. How many obby do you need? Let me see how many obbies he needs. Let's see if he'll pay me one diamond for ten obby. <laughs> Meet me at hub. <laughs> He's gonna give me one diamond for ten obby, guys. Yes. <laughs> this is how we trade on Rise SMP, guys. This is how we're gonna do it. So here's gonna be my main entranceway I guess well, actually that we're gonna make this a little bit bigger because since the portals right there I want to make this room probably like this wide so yep yeah, I'm gonna end the episode right here guys hopefully you guys are enjoying my SMP series um, we are gonna be expanding this little hub area we have here a little bit bigger I'm gonna do a lot more work off camera and then I'm gonna put a railway system basically connecting here to over there and then yeah that's basically it for today hopefully you guys enjoyed the time lapse I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna be commentating through that time lapse or if I'm going to be playing like some light music over it. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's Q Rise SMP.